What's up, everybody? Sitting on Pipe Smokey here back with a video check-in. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I was able to uh, check in. I've just been wicked busy with work and the summer and all sorts of stuff. So I've been trying to keep up on videos and other reviews people are posting and all that sort of stuff. So just a quick rundown. I still have to do the Escudo Navy Deluxe review. I haven't been smoking as much as that recently. So you guys can kind of figure out where my feelings are regarding that tobacco, surprisingly. And I spin, uh, Wallace Flake is going to be a big, so a review will come of that as well. Also, I've been smoking a lot of this recently. I can see that. Virginia Woods by McLennan. I won't share my opinions on this tobacco, but I know where I'm going with it. Um, what else? What else? So I got a couple new pipes since last time we, we met. I spoke. I got another 7LE673. As you can see here, it's in very good condition. Um, I don't know if the guy even smoked it. Um, some of the st stuff on the stem is from me. Um, I'm, a, I'm a clencher, so that's where a lot of those come from. But in terms of the pipe condition itself, I mean, the pipe is great. I mean, even some of the bottom of the bowl, you can still see the original um, briar. It looked like it wasn't even charred on the bottom, so I don't know how much the person even smoked it. So I got that recently. This has been my... I have another 673, but it's my aromatic pipe. One of my aromatic pipes, so I've been using this for Virginia blends. Yesterday, I uh, came in. I got a Peterson Aaron 106 um, with the silver stem on it, with the silver um, label on it. You can see Peterson... KMP um, with the silver band to it, the Aaron symbol, and the Aaron word right there, the model, which is six. I mean, even that, uh, you guys probably can't see it. A little charring on the top, you can see over here. Um, in terms of the bowl, it's, it's, a, it's a thin bowl, uh, but it, I mean, there's nothing really in there. You can tell it's been smoked. I mean, you can see some of the marks, some car, a little bit of carbon buildup. Um, doesn't look like any cracks on the inside of the bowl. Some of the spots that I see that kind of look like cracks, I don't think. I think it's just um, breakings up in the um, in the uh, the carbon that's built up inside there. Um, it's smooth all the way down. If he did remit, he did a very good job. I don't know, sometimes you can feel like the ridges towards the bottom if they don't get as far down in the reaming itself. The stem, I mean, has a little bit of a tooth chatter on it, but nothing crazy. Which I'll just, I'll just shine that up. On the silver, it's a little discolored because I mean it does happen. So I get some silver polish. I can, I can do with that. I'm actually ordering a bench buffer, um, offline. Um, I'll put when I do get it. I'll post some videos on it. I'm also buying a buffing kit from Pipe Makers Emporium or something along those lines for the website. I think uh, I can't remember the polishing kits name off the top of my head. I don't have it in, in front of me, um, but it does run at around. 3,800 RPMs, which I know is too quick. So on the same website I looked at, it actually has a device you can plug into any electrical product, and you can actually tune it to different RPMs. So it makes it adjustable instead of just a set RPM. So you can turn it to 50% power, and it will automatically tune it from 3,800 to roughly you know 1,650 or whatever you know 1,800 whatever the number is. So you know it'll put me right around where I'm looking at in terms of polishing pipes and doing that type of stuff. It does come with the white diamond paste. Um, what else does it come with? The Carnuba wax, the white diamond, the Tripoli, I think, and the Carnuba. A couple buffing wheels. Um, those type of things. So it should fit more than fine. That's it. So I'll put a link to that when I do order it. I just go to the next paycheck because I recently picked up a new car. So, um, Oh, yeah, I'll wait on the purchase. I got a couple pipes in the last couple weeks. So the wife's been seeing boxes come in and a new car. So I may want to wait on the on the device. The buff is probably 60 bucks, give or take. The device is probably 20 altogether. That's about 100 I mean, with tax and shipping. And um, the buffing kit's probably, you know, 50 or 70 bucks probably. So I'm looking at a $200 thing just to polish some pipes. So I may have to wait to the next pay good paycheck for that. Other than that, though, guys, just enjoying um, the summer. I hate the heat though, and it's just been so fucking hot here in, in southern New England. 
when you've had a, a hot streak and with humidity like you wouldn't believe. And I'm too fat and too miserable to deal with this heat. Cannot do it. Today's actually nice. We have, we're going to have a storm rolling in, I think. So it's about 80, which is way too hot for me in the first place. But it's got a nice breeze. I'm, a, I'm only about 200 yards from the water. Maybe 300 yards, 250, 250 yards from the water. So I get a nice breeze off the water. And uh, it's real nice right now with the storm coming in. So because it's Friday afternoon, guys, just checking in. Because I do have to get back to the tin opening videos. And sorry, I didn't do one for the Virginia Woods. Um, I, I just, but I don't know what I reason I didn't do it. And so I've been smoking it. So uh, cause I won't get my opinions on it, but. The tin's going relatively quick, so leave it to that. So that'll be done. So everybody, thanks for checking in, hanging in there with me, and uh, watching the videos. Like I said, comments, suggestions, greatly appreciated. And once again, I'm a pipe smoker. Have a good one.